It's my feel good breakfast show. Yes, we are taking your calls this morning. 083 913 for your cooking conundrums. This is our culinary hotline, and Zola R is here. In fact, we're going to our phone lines right now. We're going to Khao Ting. I think it is. Elizabeth, you are live on your Feel Good Breakfast show. What's your question or comment? Uh, uh, good morning, Rana. Good morning. Hello. Morning. Hello, Zola. You're ah. like, what's up, Amora? Thank you, thank you, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. Um, uh, Zola, man. I say, I want to make a good thing. Mm. The people, the air, the people, 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 the Dan is daar gewoon met van het uur. Wat ik wil weet is, kan ik dit in die uitgaf werken voor de volgende keer? Oké, bij een goede vraag, bij een goede vraag. Oké, all the way from Gauteng. She says she makes herzog, is really nice. She makes the the topping, so the coconut, the egg white, and she mixes it through. She always has some left over. Can she freeze it for next time? Well, you know, because you 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 make it using beaten egg whites. If you leave them standing for a while, they dissipate again. So it's best not to just keep it in the fridge. What I would do is bake it as if you're baking little um, macaroons, coconut <gasps> macaroons. Delicious. So do dollops of that mixture and bake it in the oven as you would with the herzogis and eat that. And then that you can keep in an airtight container. Mm. But don't keep the raw mixture. Okay. Because it'll it'll go all flat and it'll go watery and stuff. Elizabeth, I must be though, ne? I must for you say the other day my, my mother-in-law she made a lemon meringue. So it's a similar mm. beslag, ne? I can have all things so in the freeze cast gesit. And I get them out and I'm so happy. So sometimes you have to try it out. What if you make it clear and in the freeze cast sit and it's not out and it's not out? So try it, otherwise you eat it yourself. Okay, thanks so much for your question. And thank you, Elizabeth from Gauteng that came through this morning. Well, we have more of your Facebook questions also. Nushin from uh, uh, Nushin Kapatia asked a question. Hey, Zola, Hi. I want to make a peppermint crisp tart tomorrow. Oh, lekker. Any tips? What is the easiest and tastiest recipe that you can come up with? Okay, any peppermint crisp, crisp tart recipe is easy and delicious. So I'm going to show you how quick it is really, really quickly. Really? So all it takes is four ingredients. Yeah. So all you do first is you take your Pyrex dish and some coconut biscuits. Okay. Okay. And you so put lay them in the bottom down. here. You whip some cream. Okay. Any cream. It could be double cream. So you it could don't be even crush cream. them, hey? Oh, no, no. No, no. no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then you whip some cream. And then this is just tinned caramel. Just make sure you stir up the caramel and you sort of soften it. Otherwise, it won't it won't no, mix very no. well into the cream. Some people actually like to just layer it as it is. But, you know, I like to have an equal ratio of cream and, and caramel when I eat sure, it. it smells good in here. Doesn't it? Already. And it's it's all things that you sort of buy and sort of put together. Okay. So, look. Ripple effect. We like that, too. We okay, like the so ripple effect. Half the cream goes in here. Yeah. Here we go. Spread it out. Oh, that looks good, Zola. And then, of course, you can't have peppermint crisps mm -hmm. tart without peppermint. Crisp. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so <gasps> crush very looks roughly. Amazing. Onto that, we repeat the layering. Oh, Nusha, I hope you're watching. And that's it. That's a peppermint crisp tart. You just leave it into, in the fridge until it's ready to, to serve. How basically. long do you leave it in the fridge for? In the, if, you, if you can wait an hour, an hour's great. <laughs> if not, no, then 30 minutes so is perfect. Good. So yeah, if you just join us, we are on your Feel Good Breakfast show in our culinary hotline kitchen. Your questions that we are answering this morning oh. and we're making all kinds of things that you asked. Nushin that. asked the question saying, how can I make a peppermint crisp tart really, really quickly? This is, and that is probably this? the quickest way how possible. Quick. Okay, so what that. are you going to top it with? So I top it with more peppermint crisp. What are these things? No, that's that's something else. No, you that's don't put something that on else there. for later. No, okay, well, you top it up and you make it fun. This is your is. culinary hotline. Mm. If you have a cooking conundrum, give us a call. 083-913-3728. We'll be back with Tasty Treats after the break.